Hey, it's Pete. Um, just it's nothing fancy. It's recorded straight off the laptop screen in the shed. It's pretty cold out here. No heating. Shed doors wide open, so I'm a little bit shivery. Um, so, if you don't know, the electricity market in the UK is uh, pretty up in the air right now. A gas and electricity. Um, I never fixed my tariff um, until I left Bulb. I was with Bulb for many years and I managed to get them, uh, persuade them to fit a smart meter and then three months afterwards, January last year, I went to um, Octopus um, and then I uh, left it a few months and then I managed to get on their Octopus Go tariff. You can see there I'm paying 25p a day basically for electricity and gas, 26 for gas and uh, three pence per kilowatt of uh, gas consumed. Um, if, if you go through, if, you can Google it if you want to figure out your uh, meters squared or your feet squared to um, kilowatt hours. There's there's calculations you can do. It's about 11.8 but to 12.5 say. Uh, so for a meters cubed of gas you get about 12.5 kilowatts ish. Um, so that is good. Um, and because I'm on the go tariff I managed to consume um, electricity between half past midnight and 4.30 in the morning at 5 pence and that's including that that on electricity and gas is 5% currently uh, so I'm going to show you a photo of my uh, credit and um, my direct debit and that is basically how much I pay a month and I dropped that from 60 uh, down to its current price uh, obviously I'm using for, for six to eight six to, uh, say say seven months of the year I don't pay for electricity with the um, DIY system that I installed three years ago and it's gonna pay dividends in the next couple of years I think so have a look at the picture I'll leave it up for a few seconds so you can see I've accrued a credit of 316 pounds and I have um, a direct debit each month of 45 pounds and that will see us through the winter and then over summer when we stop using gas for heating and I stop using electricity uh, from the grid and just just plow through on solar then you'll see that the 45 pounds each month soon adds up to the next 400 pounds to get me through the next winter now I might have to up that obviously because when my tariff ends I'll be paying a lot more for obviously gas and, and, and again electricity but this is the sort of graph that we are looking at that we need to attain with the system and the modifications made above so with half 12 we start charging through till 4.30 and you could see the majority of power used here you, or consumed here was 7.8 kilowatts and that was at 5 pence including that and then again in the morning there's a little blip here which is me boiling the kettle twice once to heat my flask once to fill my flask one whole litre of coffee to take me through the day and over here there's a blip uh, about seven o'clock that must have been a late dinner so the oven went on or something like that uh, just to heat up something in the oven quick for dinner and I've used the uh, grid uh, the naughty good time inverter to cancel out that base load and everything else was on the one kilowatt and three kilowatt inverters and that is amazing because as I scroll down you can see at midnight we were using mm, two watt hours and then we used 1.17 1 1.13 1, 1 kilowatt 0 0.9 0 0.8 0 0.7 0 0.6 0 0.4 five and then back to nothing 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 there we go 100 watts to boil the kettle off to work and then nothing pretty much through the day until oh, where are we uh three o'clock uh it's about seven o'clock wasn't it seven o'clock we hit there we go 18 watts 363 watts <laughs> 250 21 2 
So that's how the system works. Now we're going to go up and have a look. Uh, so obviously, EP ever charge controllers. I'm going to take this one as an example. Got our PV supply coming down. Got our two leads going away. It goes to the centre one here. It's not connected. Uh, it is floating because I was in a rush this morning. So when I connect that back up there and isolate up there at half past 12, this turns on and it thinks that it's daytime and will put through or push through the power. Obviously the EP ever, as I said, will not self-destruct if you push power into it. It will uh, limit its output. Other models may vary. Don't have any experience with them. So, um, you saw it was up at seven kilowatts used. There is, there is losses, as I said, um, we're converting AC to DC and then using the uh, uh, the EP ever to limit the output. So there's, there's heat losses, there's losses in all the electronics, there's losses pushing it into the battery, there's losses pulling it out of the battery. Um, but uh, 7.8 kilowatts works out at 40p plus the standard charge 25p so that's 65 pence for the day whereas uh, it would have cost me and I've got to stop and do the calculation now so it would have basically cost me 159 for the electricity and standard charge or 134 for the electricity alone um, so it's, it's this as it is it's uh, saving me over a pound a day if I can expand the system, uh, I can save myself more than a pound a day. But you can imagine a pound a day over a year uh, is about £365 saving. So mm, it's not massive, but that is um, that is cool. Because uh, as, as the prices go up, and uh, obviously my tariff will end one day... Um, the savings can only get bigger so if battery storage was an option or battery only uh, ignoring PV um, then probably now is about the right time to get something or expand what you've already got I'm gonna keep on with the DIY system because I am definitely out of the market I can't spend four grand on a on a mainstream battery storage system nor can I afford to pay for mainstream solar so everything's gonna stay on the sheds and everything's gonna stay DIY for a fair while longer Anyway, thank you for watching. Please subscribe, comment, rate, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.